Hello, my name is Desiree Murray. I am an ophthalmologist and a lecturer in ophthalmology at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. As we observe World Glaucoma Week, I am pleased to welcome you to the first installment of this educational series on preventing blindness. Did you know that Trinidad and Tobago has a blind cricket team? In fact, West Indies all-rounder Dwayne Bravo recently visited the team during one of their practice sessions where he wore blackout glasses and got to experience what it was like to play cricket without the ability of sight. He faced 14 deliveries and was only able to hit three or four. Bravo described the experience of batting blind as being very challenging. Today, we are going to focus on what we can do to prevent blindness. At the end of this screencast, you will be able to list the top three causes of blindness in the Caribbean, discuss glaucoma, the number one cause of blindness in Trinidad and Tobago, and suggest ways to prevent blindness from glaucoma. While it is true that some causes of blindness such as developmental abnormalities and inherited diseases are unavoidable. The majority of blindness, as much as 80%, is in fact avoidable. These include nutritional diseases, infectious diseases, and eye injuries. In the Caribbean, the top three causes of blindness are glaucoma, cataract, and diabetic eye disease, known as diabetic retinopathy. We are going to spend the rest of our time discussing glaucoma, which is the number one cause of blindness in Trinidad and Tobago. Did you know that in Trinidad and Tobago, more than 40,000 persons have glaucoma? Could you be one? So what is glaucoma? Let's see how much you already know about glaucoma by answering this short quiz. You will need a pencil and paper. Please answer true, false or don't know to the following 10 questions about glaucoma. The answers will be shown at the end of the screencast. Let us begin. Glaucoma can be hereditary. Some patients with glaucoma have normal vision. Some patients with glaucoma have high pressure in the eye. Some patients with glaucoma have normal pressure in the eye. Glaucoma can cause tunnel vision. Blindness from glaucoma can be cured. Glaucoma can be treated with spectacles. Glaucoma can be treated with eye drops. Glaucoma can be treated with laser. Glaucoma can be treated with surgery. That's the end of the quiz. In fact, glaucoma is a group of diseases in which the eye pressure causes damage to the optic nerve, the nerve of sight. The Caribbean has the highest rates of glaucoma in the world, affecting 7 to 8.8% 8 .8 of the population, because glaucoma can be inherited and can run in families. Persons with a family history of glaucoma are more than twice as likely to develop the disease. It is therefore important for first-degree relatives of patients with glaucoma to have regular eye examinations from a relatively young age, age 30 or even younger. Glaucoma is also more common in persons of African descent. In addition, the risk of developing glaucoma is greater in severely short-sighted individuals and also increases as we get older. So everyone is at risk and we should all be checked. A check for glaucoma involves, among other things, 
having the eye pressure measured by an eye care professional, such as an ophthalmologist or an optometrist. Ophthalmologists are medical doctors who are trained to provide the full spectrum of diagnostic and therapeutic eye care, from prescribing spectacles and contact lenses to performing delicate eye surgery. Optometrists are trained to examine eyes, test sight, and give advice on visual problems. Optometrists recognize eye diseases, referring such cases to medical practitioners. As illustrated here, there are many different ways to check the eye pressure. In patients with glaucoma, the untreated eye pressure may be high, but may also be normal. This is why it is important for your eye care professional to also examine the optic nerve, as they can detect changes in the appearance of the nerve if it becomes damaged from glaucoma. Other tests which assist with the diagnosis and management of glaucoma include pachymetry to measure the thickness of the cornea, gonioscopy to examine the drainage angle of the eye, Optical coherence tomography, or OCT, to examine the retinal nerve fibers. And visual field tests to assess peripheral vision. If left untreated, glaucoma can lead to blindness. Patients often don't notice this progressive loss of vision, especially if it affects one eye more than the other. This is because blindness from glaucoma occurs gradually, usually starting in the periphery, so patients with glaucoma continue to function normally, especially if the glaucoma preferentially affects one eye. You will appreciate why this can sometimes happen when we do the following activity. Cup your hand to form a tunnel. Keep both eyes open. Place your hand in front of one eye. Now close the uncovered eye. Now open both eyes. This activity helps you to realize how tunnel vision can go unnoticed. The next video was taken on a busy street in London. It demonstrates that sometimes loss of central vision occurs early in the disease. However, with both eyes open, someone with early glaucoma may be unaware of a small blind spot in the center of their vision in one eye as the other eye may compensate. If the entire nerve is destroyed, blindness results. But blindness is preventable when glaucoma is diagnosed and treated early. However, although glaucoma is treatable, it is not curable and treatment is therefore lifelong, including regular visits to the eye clinic. Blindness from glaucoma is irreversible. The optic nerve cannot regenerate. This is similar to paralysis from spinal cord injury. But glaucoma can be treated and blindness can be prevented by lowering eye pressure with medication, laser or surgery. This slows or even halts the progression of the disease. Glaucoma cannot be treated with spectacles. With regular eye examinations, early diagnosis and effective treatment, glaucoma blindness is preventable. Please take some time to reflect on what you have learned today. Were you surprised by anything you learned? Will you do anything differently? Do you understand something you did not understand before? 
you can assess more information about glaucoma at the following websites. And now, back to the quiz. These are the correct answers. In our next screencast, we will discuss diabetic retinopathy, the most common cause of blindness in persons in the working age group. Thank you for your attention.